production and cost this is the new chapter in microeconomics that we are going to start today and in this particular session we will be discussing about production function in short run and long run okay so before coming to production function it is necessary that we need to understand the meaning of production right so production is the process of transformation of resources like land labor capital and entrepreneurship into goods and services of utility to consumers and or producers see production in general sense we know right producing anything so which means that converting raw materials into finished goods raw materials we cannot consume them directly right uh, okay few raw materials we can consume but when they are converted into finished goods they will create a different form of utility right so here let's take an example of paddy we produce uh, we cultivate paddy right so can we consume paddy directly no right it needs further processing for the production then it will be converted into rice which we can easily consume right so in order to consume rice we want production so production is nothing but using all the factors like land labor capital and entrepreneurship and converting raw materials into finished goods is what we call it as production okay so then it will create create a different form of utility or it will satisfy the human wants okay next production function a production function is a mathematical equation showing the maximum amount of output that can be produced from a specified set of inputs and given the existing technology see first of all it says that it is a mathematical equation right so that equation is this here q refers to output and it is equal to this is f f means functional relationship so these all are our inputs l stands for labor k means capital i means land and r means raw material so here there can be any other uh, factors of input also like there could be technology there could be entrepreneurship organization etc right so basically it says that our output that is q is dependent upon all our inputs right so what we input according to that only we will get the output right so it shows the maximum amount of output that can be produced by, from a specified set of inputs so in order to understand this let's have a look at an example okay so assume that we have a sugar industry right and we want to produce sugar so basically our main raw material will be sugar cane right sugar is produced from sugar cane right so if we input 100 uh, pieces of sugar cane what amount of output we get as sugar so that is important here so production function shows us the output that we can get from inputting 100 sugar canes okay so what if we increase our inputs like for example we are increasing our inputs from 100 sugar cane to 200 sugar cane so our output will also increase right so that is the reason why we tell that outputs are dependent upon our inputs okay so here we also need to remember that our quality of outputs is also dependent upon the quality of inputs okay so if you input cheap quality products you cannot expect that you are getting branded or very high quality products right so this is what the production function shows in simple language we can say that it shows the relationship between inputs and outputs okay i hope you are clear next factors of production so whenever we want to carry on any production activities there are certain factors which are necessarily required without them we cannot carry on the production activities okay so basically there are four factors of production first is land so we know that land is obviously very necessary for carrying production right we cannot carry production activities in air right so land includes all natural resources which are above and under the earth like forest products and mineral oils so basically here you can understand that land includes all those resources which are natural which are not man made here you can also consider like water sunlight or plants or even forest products or minerals ores that we get under the earth okay our second factor of production is labor 
physical or mental effort of human being that undertakes the production process so by labor we can clearly understand that it means human being right so it could be physical or mental effort by a human being which is required for carrying on production process okay so we cannot completely depend upon machineries right we need some human beings in our production unit okay no matter how advanced our industry is but at least in order to turn on or in order to start the machineries we want human beings right so labor is very important factor of production okay next third is capital wealth which can be used for for the production not a gift of nature but is produced by human beings so here it is very clear anything which is not natural and which is required for production process is what we call capital okay so only remember that it is not natural okay and here capital does not only mean money anything which is man made it could be building or it could be machineries or raw material right so that all comes in capital okay next enterprise ability and action to collect coordinate and utilize all factors of production now assume that we have land labor and capital but we have no person to manage all this or in or, or in order to use all these resources then these are all waste right there has to be one person who manages coordinates and also utilize all the factors of production right so the that person we call it as entrepreneur okay so that enterprise is also another very important factor of production other than this we could have like technology raw materials but they can also be included in capital right so basically these four were the very important and basic factors of production okay now these factors of production can be divided as fixed factors and variable factors in order to understand the production process in long run and short run we need to understand these terms okay so first is fixed factors the factors which do not change during production process in short run now there are some factors among these four there are some factors which will not change in the short run so short run means we know that uh, we will be having no more time right uh, we have to carry on the production process quickly and then send the goods to the market so we don't have enough time for making changes in some factors so those factors are like land machinery technology entrepreneurship etc now assume that you are not satisfied with your machinery now you want to purchase a new machinery and the machinery that you are using is like not very easily available you have to import it from some other countries so can it be done in a single day in a single or two days no right it will like it will take a lot of time so in short run this factor remains fixed so similar to this we have land technology and entrepreneurship which cannot be changed easily right so these are the fixed factors in short run okay next variable factors the factors of production which can be changed even in short run and long run to obtain required output now here again there are some factors which can be changed easily even in the short run like labor or raw materials now assume that you want to increase the production right you want to increase the output then you can increase the labor right so when you increase the labor you can work more or when you increase the amount of raw material our output will be more so this can be easily changeable right so the factors which can be changed easily even in the short run they are called variable factors okay in most of the cases only raw material and labor will be variable factors all right so up to now we have understood the meaning of production function factors of production and fixed and variable factors of production right next we need to understand production function in short run and long run so which means that how the production process is carried on in short run and long run okay so first let's discuss about short run short run is the period of time so short that there is at least one fixed input now this is an important point therefore changes in the output level must be accomplished exclusively by changes in the use of variable inputs see now here 
as i told you earlier in short run we will not be having enough time to change the factors so here at least one factors remains fixed okay and therefore if we want to make changes in the output or if we want to increase or decrease the production then we have to make changes only in the variable factors right so if you want to increase the uh, output then you can increase the inputs as well inputs of variable factors only like labor and raw material right and if you want to decrease the output again you have to make changes only in the variable factors like again labor and raw material so as i told you earlier production function is an equation right so here the equation of the production function in short run becomes q that is output is equal to functional relationship of labor our labor remains uh, labor is variable factor right it keeps changing so labor and capital assume that here our capital is constant right and land land again is constant and raw materials raw materials are not constant they can be changed they are variable factors okay so this is what our production function equation in short run okay next production function in long run in long run all the factors are considered to be variable hence the desired output can be obtained by making changes in all factors of production now here in long run we will have enough time so if we are not satisfied with any of the of our inputs like it could be even land we can even change the land or production unit in long run because we will have enough time right so here not even a single factor remains fixed all the factors here are variable okay so here if we want to make changes in the output we can make changes in any of the way inputs any of the variable inputs right so here our equation becomes q is equal to functional relationship of labor capital land and raw materials technology etc all our inputs here not even a single uh, factor is fixed all are constant uh, sorry all are variable okay so this is production function in short run and long run okay guys so this was all about today if you found this helpful please hit the like button also subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next videos till that happy learning